This is Asia in the Virgin Islands. I'm going to show you some important editing tools in Logic Pro X. The first one is trimming, and that's going to be edge editing. So what I have here is basically some um, loops that are mixed together and my audio, which is a voiceover. Um, and so I'm going to use some of these techniques on this example right here. If I want to trim something, all you have to do is go to the outer edges of the audio track that you want to trim, which is going to be the bottom right hand corner, and you can adjust adjust the bounds of that audio region accordingly. Now this is non-destructive editing so you're still going to be able to move, go back and adjust those bounds back to where they were because it doesn't change the audio file. All right, But you can do that. That's called trimming or edge editing and of course you can move things around after you trim and make your edits accordingly. Now if you want to separate something and let's say I want to separate, this is a voice, a voice track so let's say I want to take out some of those pauses because I want it to be nice and tight. I'm going to use this for a show or something, I'm going to go ahead and split that. To split, you go to your scissor tool, which is in your drop down menu. You click exactly where you want to split, and there it goes. And there you go, it cuts it right in half. You can also use a key command. A key com the key command to split is Control T, and bam, there you go. You can cut that, and then you can make your adjustments accordingly, and you have separated or split a track. Now, I want to crossfade the edges of those two tracks because I want to eventually merge them together, but I want to make sure there's no pops or clicks in between. So I'm going to go to the crossfade tool, which is going to be up here. In the drop down menu, go to your fade tool, and then just click over the end and beginning where you want the crossfade to be, and boom, there it is. If you want to make it bigger, you can go where you have this icon right here that pops up with the arrows. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, however um, big or small you want it. Usually, you want them pretty small. And there you go, you have a crossfade right there. Now moving along, you want to merge these two together. Let's say you want to join these two separate audio files together. They're both highlighted, so then you can just go to your glue tool, click it once, and it's going to ask, it's going to say that it's going to create a new audio file because it's destructive editing and it's going to actually create a new audio file with all the changes saved in there. So you go to create. And there you go. You've merged two separate tracks together. Now you can always split it. You can be two completely separate tracks, but that's how you merge. The key command to merge is Control. I mean, I'm sorry, it's Command J. So if you ever want to use your Command um, J to do that, it works just the same. Now to use the grid, your grid is going to be up here where these ticks are. Now usually the default is to be snap to grid, snap to grid, and it's going to give you that smart option. So it's going to, the computer is basically going to um, guess exactly where you want things to be dragged based on how far you're zoomed in and things of that nature. But let's say you want full control and you want to turn the grid off. You go up to this drop down menu here and where it says snap to grid, click that and it'll turn it off and then you can move things as smoothly if you you want to move it ever so slightly now you have full control to do that by turning off the smart the snap to grid if you want to hear the something cycled over and over again so you can make edits to a particular portion of your song turn on the cycle portion here this bar will turn yellow and that's your cycle so if you want to play something back over and over again like this I know you guys can't hear it, but you can see that it's playing it over and over again so you can make adjustments accordingly. That's how you turn on your cycle. You can adjust the bounds by going up here and it's similar to the trim where you're going to see this icon show up and you can make adjustments to your cycle region accordingly. To do markers, you go up to your global track, track down to global tracks. You want to show your global track and it'll show you the marker right here. Let's say I know I want the intro right here. This isn't a real song, of course, but if you did have a song, you can do um, your intros, your outros, your verse, um, bridge, anything. Intro, intro, you go to your ad, add another one. <laughs> verse, go back outside. Verse, and then you can do that accordingly. Um, if you want a name or color, that you can go colors and you can change the color of your markers. You can also do that with your tracks as well. And I'll show you how to do that. It's the same drop down same drop down button which is the toolbar. Let's move that up here and let's say you want all of your instrumentals to be a certain color. You want them to be green. You can click green and it'll change that there. Um, and you can do that with all of them. And you can of course do it how you want versus um, different colors for different takes 
or you can group them by instruments, however you want it. That's how you color. In the drop down menu up here, the toolbar, go to here, colors, or you can double click or right click on your, um, it's, the, it's the equivalent of right click. Go to name and color, and then you can color your regions by tracks. In order to name something over again, you go to your text tool, and then you can type, this is my voiceover, and you can make any adjustments by do, using your text tool and changing the name here. And lastly, to zoom in, you can zoom in by changing the, using these parameters and dragging it back and forth for your horizontal and vertical zoom. You can use this button here, which will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. And then you can also use your zoom tool, which is going to be in your drop down menu select a portion that you want to zoom into and boom there you are you're in and of course you can also take two fingers on a Mac on your trackpad and go out and in and I use that a lot those are some quick and dirty editing tools in Logic Pro X thanks for watching